channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. I have a good sized grocery haul for you with some really good deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every single Saturday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Definitely recommend personalized macros and calories. Let's make 2024 the year you reach your goals together. So I would have your macros and calories done as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here's my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at my local Kroger store, which is Fry's. In our area, what you don't see is two eight packs of Gatorade Zero and three 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy. As always, they're in the garage. But let me show you everything else that I grabbed for the week. So I got some tater tots, frozen tater tots. This is for a dinner recipe. You guys will actually see the recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. At the end of the grocery haul, stay tuned. I'm gonna go over my plans for dinners for the week as well as what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I got Troy some more wavy potato chips so that he can have it with his French onion dip and he also needed cereal he was completely out of cereal so he loves the fiber one honey clusters and the Kashi Go toasted berry crisp and then I got him a bit. I also grabbed some sugar cookies these were in the reduced bakery section for 50% off, so they were like $2, I think. And then quite a bit of cheese. We're almost out of cheese. Other than about a half a package of shredded cheese. So I grabbed my favorite really thick cut cheese from Private Selection. This is the aged cheddar blend with New York cheddar, Vermont cheddar, and Wisconsin cheddar. I also got some shredded sharp cheddar cheese and some reduced fat Mexican blend. And then we were out of cheese slices. So I picked up some sharp cheddar cheese slices. I did get my favorite hash browns. These are the Simply Potatoes. These are really good. It's literally just potatoes. Nice, clean ingredients, ready to go in the refrigerator section, not frozen. Love them. I've been having kind of, I guess, like a Felicia combo where I'm doing hash, brown, hash browns and egg, bacon, and cottage cheese. It's such a good filling breakfast. So I wanted to restock my Simply Potatoes. I also got Troy some potato salad. This is the loaded potato salad in the deli. This was on sale for $3.44, so that's a really good deal, so I picked that up for him. Speaking of deals, this is all they had. They didn't have really any reduced meat. It was all picked over, I guess, or they hadn't gotten to it yet today. I was at the grocery store pretty early, but I did grab a pound of the 97% ground chicken for $3.18. Amazing deal. I love ground meat. I much prefer ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef over 
over steak and chicken breast. So this I will definitely be using in a recipe. I did get some French fried onions. I'm making a casserole for my boot camp Christmas party tonight. It is one of the best casseroles ever. I've actually made it on my channel, so it is on my website. It's a chicken and rice casserole and it is amazing. So you need a French fried onions for that. Also some diced pimentos. I know as weird as that sounds, but they definitely make the casserole. And then I did get one of the Good Culture cottage cheese. I had a coupon for this and you guys know how much I love cottage cheese. I'm Cottage cheese is part of my little potato breakfast bowl that I make. I also needed a box of long grain wild rice for that chicken and rice casserole, as well as a can of French style green beans and a can of chicken broth as well as a can of cream of chicken soup. So I always get the healthy request. I actually picked up two because I need one for that tater tot casserole recipe. I did pick up one more thing of frosting. I don't know that I'm gonna have enough to make the goodies for tonight. I am making a sour cream peppermint cookie and I'm making cupcakes. Both of them require frosting and I just didn't wanna run out. So I picked up one more container and then a can of sliced water chestnuts. These also go in that casserole, that chicken casserole. These add such a good crunch to the recipe. I saw these pizza, Cheese pizza inspired cremini mushrooms, these stuffed mushrooms. We got some last time, different different flavor. They're so good, you just throw them in the oven and they're such a good side. So we'll have that as a side with dinner tonight. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy and then I got just the Carb Master Plain. I have the Carb Master Vanilla and the Carb Master Chocolate, but for recipes and things I use plain milk. So I did pick up the Carb Master Plain. And speaking of recipes, I needed the Andes Peppermint Crunch Mints for those sour cream cookies. I couldn't find those. All I could find are these Andy's peppermint bark, which are just bigger pieces of the peppermint crunch mint. So I'm going to use these. These were expensive. They were $7. I can't believe how expensive candy is, like Christmas candy. It's insane to me, but I needed these for those cookies. And then what's ever left over will go on the platters for Christmas Eve. I also picked up some fa a 0% yogurt for a recipe. And then I always like to have Greek yogurt on hand. I did get some potatoes because I'm going to throw a pot roast in the crock pot for this week for a dinner. Super excited about that. And I always just use these baby potatoes I just throw them in whole it's super easy and then I also always use baby carrots instead of having to chop up carrots these two things staples in a pot roast I did get three avocados because I had a coupon and you know I love avocado I've been eating it literally every single day I did get two packs of berries one blackberry one blueberry for the week some asparagus for my lunch meal prep an apple for my breakfast meal prep an onion for that chicken casserole and then green onions as well for the casserole so that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So tonight is my boot camp Christmas party. Tomorrow I have some frozen ravioli from Trader Joe's. I'm going to make that up for a quick, easy dinner. And then on Monday, I'm doing a tater tot casserole. This is a little bit different than a traditional tater tot casserole. And again, you'll see that recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesdays, leftovers. Wednesday, I'm throwing that pot roast in the crock pot. And then Thursday and Friday, we always do leftovers as well. And here's what's on the menu for meal prep for the week. So for breakfast, I'm going to do an apple cinnamon baked oatmeal. I'm so excited for this. I've been craving baked oatmeal. For lunch, I'm going to do teriyaki chicken. I'm gonna cook this in my air fryer. So it's going to be just really good chicken, veggies, a perfect lunch. And then for dessert, I'm making eggnog donuts. I'm also very excited for these. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up for the week. Definitely stay tuned for all of those yummy recipes coming in Monday's meal prep. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and subscribe and turn your bell on so you don't miss any future videos. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching. Get those personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.